I'm calling all ball frogs for an emergency meeting of the ball frog fandom. We're, we've arrived, I think. Terrible we, news has befallen the ball frog right. fanatics. Our fearless leader, Florian, has declared Ball Frog 2 is no longer in production. Wow. Yep. Pulling a fess. That's it, right. It's over. It's so uh, disappointing. And he says the $80,000 crowdfunded and raised for that game specifically will now be used for his gotcha game. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it had to happen. Okay. Don't look into what that is, okay? I don't want to know. I don't like it. <laughs> that's not that's not good yeah that's no really, good really at all bad. well if i'm going to disband the ball frog fanatic fan club now since we have nothing to look forward to should we just have a meeting of bazinga boys instead i think so Sounds pretty good well yeah. since, since we all know all the episodes all the time i guess we might as well well i mean i just i just so happened to watch episode 16 of big bang theory and episode 16 of young sheldon this morning are you guys familiar with those so we could talk about them well, I don't think I I've have, ever heard of them. I have a perfect memory of all episodes, so sure. Specifically by of... number, not even by title? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. It's, it's definitely the one where there's not a birthday party, and then it's the... I think that was an episode one. of Friends, the one where there's not a birthday party. <laughs> yeah, it's every episode of Friends. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no, there's probably a few friends, birthday party episodes be. in there. <laughs> What about when, uh, isn't there a flashback to a birthday party and, uh, Monica's big and fat? Big fat fatty? Wow. Did, did you like that purple when they were making fun of fat people on Friends? I, you, I, why would you assume that I've seen Friends? Okay? Oh. I, there's no reason that I would have seen Friends. You only watch good sitcoms go. like Big Bang Theory? I'm gonna exactly. be honest. And young Sheldon. You know, maybe it's just because I grew up with Friends. I, I think Friends is a much funnier and better show than this, but Young Sheldon I'm, is the superior. Well, I watched never... a good bit of Friends, not a big fan. Yeah, I, I couldn't get past, like, one episode, but I, I, I should give it another try at some point, I guess. Maybe it's because I was literally 11 years old, so maybe some of these sex jokes were new to me at the time. Maybe I wouldn't like it if I watched it now, but I certainly don't think that Big Bang Theory is that funny. Wow. How, how could you? This is I think uh, Sheldon is the funniest comedy. character in fiction. I think we were blessed this week with... An okay episode of Big Bang Theory, like decent, but an all-time great episode of Young Shelton. I'm really excited to talk about this one. Oh, wow. yeah? It really spoke yeah. to you. It's I mean, George like, Costanza when, when shows this? up in drag playing Little Orphan Annie for a full that was, minute. That was who that was? I knew that must have been someone. Yeah. One of these fucking wow. things. And not a fan of Seinfeld either. Just Big Bang no. Theory. Just Big Bang <laughs> Theory exclusively. I've never <laughs> seen Seinfeld. When you reach the peak, why even bother looking down? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. yeah, it's just a show about the smartest people doing the best things. It's nothing else, really. Well, as I usual, before we dive into the episodes, we need to do the segment that everybody actually comes here for. Everybody's favorite little update segment, of course. It is the Chuck Lorre cards. <laughs> uh, what What did he have to say? What What philosophical musings did Chuck Lorre have for us this week? Purple. Oh, well. Um, for the Big Bang Theory, it was a, a paragraph about how you must become a spiritual warrior to cope with the insanity of the modern day, which I thought was it was very inspiring. Does he go into strange. detail about the modern day insanities that that he faces? Because I mean, like, I don't know what his political leanings are. So I don't know, like, if the woke culture is driving him crazy or if it's like. He, he listed uh, is it basically just the seven deadly sins. He just listed like everything bad. Oh, wow. um, is he like yeah. unironically a hardcore Christian? Well, no, I, I don't think so. It wasn't actually them, but it was like you know, it's that sort of that sort of vibe. Just list off like ten or ten or so like bad things, oh, and I guess that's yeah. that's all the that's Seven the state of the world. Sins. Yeah, he invented new sins. So I want to find out like about it, these yeah. new sins. It's pretty good. Sounds Sounds great. Can you read them to us? Because this seems I important. Can, I can try to pull up the fucking thing again. Okay. And then the other thing was just about Russian spies, which I didn't get. Yeah, the other one for Young Sheldon, it was, uh, it was, what was it exactly? It was 60 Russian spies down, one to go, and I have no clue what that's referring what? to. <laughs> that must I, have been some, some really current events. 
um, getting political at the end of Young Sheldon. Yeah. And um, lazier, by the way. All of these ones, they're getting like shorter and shorter uh, cards well, at the you, end. You said they were too long, right? They are too long normally, but it is strange just how short they get in the uh, in the other one. I don't in, even read the cards. Sheldon. No, as I soon as the show ends, I turn it off. Yeah, I completely forgot this week. <laughs> wow. Well, Big apparently fans. there was one point where, where this many Russian diplomats were expelled from somewhere, so I guess that must have been what happened. Okay, if you don't have this pulled up in 10 seconds, we're moving on <laughs> to the grinder update. In order to walk through grief, fear, loneliness, despair, confusion, and anger without recourse to drug, drugs, alcohol, overeating, oversexing, or the endless mind-numbing distractions provided by Western culture. One okay, must okay, th we got to break this warrior. down because he's okay. he's calling all of you out. Like, Whoa, yeah, like, that is like some of you true. guys, I'm not going to point out who some of you guys overeat. Some of you are addicted to <laughs> pornography, heartsy. Just uh, fucking, no. I know what you're doing no. all day now that you're out of school. And we all know Florian's vices. They're disgusting. And yeah, he's, he's saying, no hey, clap, okay. if, if you can adapt to the world around you and, and not fall into the pressures of depression and all this by using the crutch of these disgusting vices, then you are a powerful person. And it, yeah, it, it is not like a Christian spirituality. It's more of just uh, being in tune with your own brain, really. So, so he's calling out you the most because you succumb to your depression at some point, right? Yeah, but he's saying if you can uh, cope through it without relying on a vice, which uh, I certainly do not do. Right, but you were like swallowed by the depression, right? So that's worse than. Than like doing a vice. I, I think you're it, you're right? thinking of like a 2017 monkey. You need to catch up a little bit. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, I mean, but yeah, you've been there, right? I don't know. You don't know. Okay. So, <laughs> Hartsy, would you like to comment on your porn addiction? Um, uh, I um, no, I because <laughs> I don't believe I have one. Okay. Um, you're kind of in like the JD Vance position where like if he comes out and says I did not fuck my couch, it's more suspicious so we're just gonna let everybody believe it sure okay <laughs> that's that might be the the best play in the situation <laughs> but this uh this walls guy the the vp pick for kamala kamala I, I was told kamala is not correct and i and when i try to say it correct i fuck it up does anybody you know how to actually kamala. say it she says kamala it must kamala. be kamala whoever told you that's full of shit. so it is kamala Okay. I think so. But this wow. dude swallowed a bunch oh, of horse well. semen, is that true? Wait, he got his stomach pumped for drinking horse cum? Did that, that actually that happen? True, no. what? I saw I like a... That. Like, unlike the JD Vance thing that was just a made up excerpt from his book, <laughs> this was uh, a literal newspaper headline with an article about it. So somebody well, put in a lot more work if this is fake. Well, that doesn't make any sense. Like, horse semen shouldn't be poisonous. Why would you need to pump it out? I think he drank way too much. Well, that would require a million horses. What? <laughs> what? What is? What is the safe amount of horse cum to drink, Florian? I mean, like, I, I, I mean, I assume it's like any number, any food, like maybe like a protein shake. I don't know. <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> well, I, I think that's a smooth transition into the grinder update. <laughs> How much horse semen? I guess we'll ask the same question for this segment. How much horse semen did you drink this week, Florian? Horse? Uh, none. Uh, you didn't hook up with YMS? <laughs> Is he a horse now? Wow. He's a horse he's furry. Not. He's been really? a horse guy for, for years and years. Yeah. A yeah. horse guy? Way back, yeah. I thought he was like guy. Some, some other kind of furry. Wow. Well, I guess when we have him on, is it Kino as a guest? You can ask him. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I guess I guess the hair makes makes him look kind of like a horse. I guess that works. He probably puts it in oh. a ponytail during sex. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean it's just <laughs> yeah. convenient. A ponytail, you know. Yeah, you don't want all that hair. <laughs> So any grinder updates? We have one and a half gay men on this podcast. So for many of you, Heartsy wow. included, I don't know what's going on over there. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Not even like a Tinder update from Heartsy. I will never touch a dating site. But what about Bumble? No. Hinge. No. J date. 
No. E-Harmony. No. Farmers Only. I really <laughs> like their theme song, but no. Mm, black People Meet. Ooh, that's tempting, but... I, <laughs> They'll I, probably I, let I, you on there. There's gotta be some some juicy ebony queen who wants heartsy protsy. Yeah, definitely, sure. <laughs> 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 One day, wow! But no updates in, in the Florian household. Hmm. Well, I actually, <laughs> I actually got banned off one of those websites for asking if she wanted a, a sugar daddy. So that was tragic, you know. Uh, yep. What a no. shame. You were doing it on an illegal website. No, I mean, like on a regular website. On on the illegal websites, you'd probably be fine doing it, you know. Oh, so why'd you try to bend the rules on a an unforsaken website? I don't know. She was just really cute, you know? <laughs> so she I reported you and got you banned? <laughs> yeah, so it would seem. What a bitch. <laughs> Did you She's missing her out. Like it's a, her loss. regular relationship, though, before the sugar baby set up. What was that? Did you offer like a regular relationship before the that setup, well, or no? You you only get like one message before they ignore you, so you gotta you gotta go right in, you know. <laughs> okay. when, when you're on a date, which do you mention first? That you're a famous video game creator or a famous is it Kino podcaster? <laughs> I definitely don't mention the Kino stuff. <laughs> um... Wait, why not? You don't want to get their pussy too wet. Yeah, it's too dangerous, you know. <laughs> you don't want to slip, yeah. slip and slide in there. You need a little yeah, bit of well, friction. It might attract bears, you know. It's not good. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it smells like salmon or Wendy's. <laughs> Maybe. Filet of fish. All right, so what, what what do you have to say about this episode, huh? Of the grinder update? Yeah, it could have been better, you know. <laughs> I mean, the actual gay dude on the panel didn't even say anything, so I'm still waiting for him to chime in. Listen, I, I'm not on Grinder. I've we've established this. I refuse to go back. It's not a good place. Well, I don't think we have. Damn. I think we've we talked about this at length on past episodes. Well, I I, I remember you telling us that you, you have to, to finick the, the the filters and stuff. I didn't know. Yeah, that that, so. that was that was the strategy. You have to you have to mess with all the filters. You have to mess with like the because you get like like fifty people per page or whatever. Or it's it's yeah. like it's a lot lower sometimes. It goes down to like three sometimes, and you have to f fiddle with all the all the shit to try to get specific people to show up that you can like message. Yeah, I I, I filtered by weight, and then it just turned <laughs> out that there's like none left in in Innsbruck that, that will oh, fit no. the filter, so it only shows oh. the people trying to. That's, you're that's you're trying to only have fat women. <laughs> and there's yeah, too many I'm sexy, blinder, skinny yeah. chicks out there. Oh, okay. Because <laughs> oh, you want... Okay, I see. You wanted a yeah. little twink boy. I see. That's, <laughs> yep. that's why I'm scared to come visit. Yeah, I bet. You won't be able to resist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll wake you wear the, the tutu and we're, we're going to get busy. Yep. What do you yeah, mean, the tutu? Is there a tutu that I should know of? Any... I don't know. Okay. I, I mean, I'm down to clown if you are. I'll do anything for that money. Wow. Uh, you can be my sugar daddy, Florian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just to show, like, like full fanboy, you know, that's all, all you need to do. And I would imagine, as a child, Florian's parents never threw him a birthday party. So maybe, you know, my new sugar daddy, I, maybe I'll want to throw him a surprise party with all of his best friends. Invite over hearts. He invite over purple. And see if we can get this done. I just gotta somehow get Florian right now. He's playing ball frog, and he's really into the game. I gotta find a way to convince him to leave the house. Hmm. Oh, I am allergic to peanuts. I guess I could eat some of these. Oh, oh Florian! Oh, Florian! Uh, stop gaming! And, and oh, then I no, just fall over and die. <laughs> I I choke to death <laughs> on the floor while F Florian keeps playing ball frog. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we should be in the writer's room for Big Bang Theory. I bet it never even occurred to them to have the, the Jewish one die. Literally die. Wow, that, <laughs> yeah, brilliant. I mean, he almost died, I guess. Uh, did somebody leave? They killed him off, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't miss him. The most relatable character. You know, he's the shortest and he gets laid the most. It's perfect. 
<laughs> oh, that re represents Heartsy perfectly, you're saying. No, I know, no. right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I bet he's on all the dating sites, you know. He he knows that you're gonna put yourself out there, you know, to get it perfect. A guy like me doesn't win on a dating site, so no, I'm I'm not. Uh, so for the 95% of people who were completely lost, I, I just recapped the plot of Big Bang Theory, but made it about us instead. And uh, now we can move on to Young Sheldon, because you know, <laughs> fuck it. Wow, well, that, that was a short one. Okay, what, what do you guys have to say about this episode? I actually liked this episode of uh, of the Big Bang Theory, and uh, and Leonard's problem of never having a birthday party actually resonates with me because I never had a birthday party my entire oh, life. I've I've never had my birthday celebrated except for one year in middle school, in sixth grade. I had a birthday party. I invited all of my friends, and not one of them showed up. Holy shit! Did you give them the yeah. right address? I did. I the did. Correct I gave them the right date address. and time. Yes, I did. I I gave all my friends an uh, invite, and none of them showed up, and I spent a long time crying that day. Well, you have to wow. imagine they weren't really your friends then. Yeah. And actually, well, that, you were just like helps. a complete loser and loner your whole life, and like everybody you thought was your friend actually did secretly hate you. Yeah, well, that makes at it that feel time, a maybe, better. yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna go so much better. Actually. I'm trying to, like, say the meanest thing I could possibly say. <laughs> <laughs> no, that, that resonates with me. I, I, cause my birthday my birthdays have always sucked, so I resonate with the character right now of Leonard. Uh, well, it, I mean, it sounds like it's for the best that your parents didn't try to throw you another birthday after that, so they were really doing you a favor by not ever celebrating it. Right, like, and maybe he'll forget about his birthday this year and we'll just like remind him that he changed ages later yeah that's exactly what they did I forgot some years <laughs> <laughs> I what, is, what is your birthday so that everybody on your birthday can say it on Twitter I'm not can... gonna I'm not gonna really that well, um, you don't even want people to, to hit you up and say happy birthday heartsy no I don't what is the uh, creation date on your YouTube channel? Maybe that can be your online birthday. Uh, um, can... Somewhere in 2018. I, I don't no, know. I mean exactly. the fucking date, not the fucking year, dude. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> okay. Whoa. Okay. I, I'm sure there's some way to find out, but... Uh, it, I mean, it's pointless. listed on the description of every March channel. March 11th, 2018. I know the spy heart, okay? Heart wow. I don't have to look it up. You know me better than I know me. Okay, so I'm waiting for next March. all of you Bazinga Boys fans in the in the group chat, seven months from now or however long, make sure you tell Heartsy happy birthday on Twitter. Right, thank okay, you. Okay, we settled that one. Purple, what did you think of this? Did you have birthday parties as a kid? I did have birthday parties. I was going to pose a question, actually. Uh, if you were to have like this sort of situation happen to you and you were like an ER worker and, and like fucking Howard came in and he wanted to like waste Leonard's time, would you do it for him? No, this is not the time nor place for your shenanigans, you you little Jewish horny fuck. <laughs> Go fake your medical emergency somewhere else. We have actual people who need help here. I, I thought it was I entirely inappropriate. I uh, really liked the part where he tried to change her mind by saying, what would you say to the uh, person who freed your people? That was, yeah, uh, that was insane. Joke. He pulls out like a a one dollar, but which one has fucking Lincoln on it? A five? The five dollar? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, the, the, the price really went up when he made that one. That blunder. He probably could have gotten no cheap, but then she wanted a lot of money for she it. She wanted five hundred bucks. She said, "Yeah, now it should have been Benjamin Franklin and his four twin brothers or whatever." Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I mean, that's probably a reasonable price for for this abuse of power. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that is a little insane if we're going to break that one down. So he's literally a little Jewish boy. He wants to bribe the black receptionist at the hospital. So he pulls out a fucking dollar bill, a five dollar bill with Lincoln on it and says, well, the man who freed your people, will he convince you? <laughs> that is fucked. Yeah. They put it this really on is. prime time fucking cable, not even cable, fucking just network TV. Dude. The Big Bang Theory gets a lot, gets away with a lot of like racy jokes that they probably wouldn't be able to today. Like, like uh, the whole character of Raj is always getting made fun of for being Indian. That's his entire character. Well, uh, he's also a Different coward time. who can't speak to women. So yeah, like these days, women wish the Indian men would be afraid to speak to them. It's almost like a, a relic of a better time. <laughs> 
Well, not the nerdy ones, I guess they might still be afraid, you know? It if, could happen. If my grandparents never had to speak on the phone to an Indian again, I would be grateful. And mostly because they get scammed. Right. <laughs> That's true. And it's also because they're racist and it makes them very upset. <laughs> you don't. You don't want the racist to be upset. Yeah. No, I, like when I when Bill Johnson's on the other line, I want him to sound like me. Yeah. At least tell me your real name, you fucking liar. I know you're not fucking Bill Johnson. Bill Johnson. <laughs> is that, is that, is that, is that a real one? Actually, That's what heard? they fucking give fake white people names, and then it's an Indian person on the phone on the other side of the country. That's fantastic. Oh, That's I thought this was common knowledge. I must yeah. sound crazy right now. I don't. No, I, I don't. I, I don't let these before. people call me. I just fucking hang up before they can. Yeah. Man, you're missing out on the best YouTube content. Yeah, okay? go watch Kit Boga. The scam baiters are great. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not interested in that. That's. that's but he fine. plays the character of an old lady, and it's funny. Yeah, he plays lots of characters and, and yeah. really, really good videos. You're missing out. <laughs> I'll watch Mrs. Doubtfire if I want to. Want a guy being an old lady? Okay. Yeah, this is better. That's how it works. Well, at least Kit Boga didn't kill himself like a coward. That's what Medea is <laughs> about too, right? A suicide? I wish. That'd be a great way to end it. <laughs> wow. We don't know. I had to They're watch the... Them. This morning I had to watch the animated Medea cartoon for children. Oh. How was that? Wow. Uh, it was a 2 out of 5 on Letterboxd. Oh. <laughs> it was that better than Fred the that. Movie by... Magnitudes. Fred the movie. I Wait, what got, did you give fucking a long star. legs again? Is that is that on par with that? A long legs was a five out of ten. I feel like, oh, out of ten. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I feel like any movie that I could possibly watch would be better than the last movie I watched. What was so, the last one? The Sandy Cheek SpongeBob movie. Oh yeah, we only watched that because we saw your Letterboxd review and you said this is worse than ten nine eleven. So me, <laughs> me and Aggie knew we had to watch it immediately. Oh, I I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad yeah, you, you ruined our night. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what were Another you expecting? Win for our team. <laughs> uh, in this episode, Old Sheldon claims that when he was uh, on his 12th birthday, he wanted to get a titanium centrifuge, but he instead got a motorized dirt bike. Am I to believe that Mary and George bought this for him and we're going to see this in Young Sheldon season four? Uh, unfortunately, no. Like, oh, it's complete bullshit. Yeah. Wow. How, the I family don't, I don't doesn't have they... the extra funds to buy a dirt bike. No. But yeah, they keep talking about how poor they are, even in this show. And like, yeah, I don't see how they could have bought that. And the, I mean, the they, characters they we know would anymore. never buy young Sheldon a fucking dirt bike with a motor. Yeah, they know what he wants. Never. Yeah. Yeah. No, because it's yeah. dangerous. They, they wouldn't even let him get well, near a kid who has one. That's he wouldn't even want well. to, but I guess that was the point of his story. But still, fucking retarded. Why do they not make this a, a whole episode in Young Sheldon? They should have. <laughs> well, they. Uh, how would that work? To accidentally buy it for him? <laughs> no, what if Mary's <laughs> against it, but George Senior defies her, says, "I want my son to be normal boy, no more computers," and he goes and buys it for him, and Young Sheldon's pissed. That would be great. And then Georgie gets it at the end. It could be a yeah. Little then he win crashes it like immediately, and then he has a broken arm for the rest of the season. Would have been Kino. Holy <laughs> shit! That, that too. Get us in the writers' room. At least, at least hire the four of us for fucking Georgie and Mandy's first wedding, because that show's gonna be dog shit. Gonna be fucking <laughs> stupid dog shit. What are they gonna get divorced, and then the sequel is gonna be their second marriage? Oh my god! <laughs> if no. not, hire us now, because we will write it and make it good. Right. Right. We will. That's a promise. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> okay, any um, other thoughts on this episode? Uh, I thought it was really funny when uh, he ended up eating the peanut granola bar and uh, got seriously uh, ill. That was really cool. Yeah, yeah he's all puffed up. Grotesque. He turned into like a Star Trek monster or something. You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, he should have totally got, like, refused service because he was trolling, but damn, they, they sorted it out. I feel like if he's having, like, a real emergency, you can't, uh, you can't deny him because he was trolling earlier. <laughs> well, I don't think that's allowed. I mean, like, if you know that he purposely took it, I don't know. Hmm. I don't know. I, you still have to do, like, if someone, like, jumps off a bridge or whatever and breaks all their bones, you still gotta try to help him. <laughs> no, they no, he wanted it this way. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's fine. It's like those doctors That's who have to like help mass shooters and stuff. Like you know, it's just their job to help an injured person, no matter who they are. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, so Young Sheldon episode 16, uh, I think is one of the superior episodes because it really breaks down Sheldon as a character and he, he loses his faith in science and the school system entirely and wants to pursue acting instead. And I think it's because they have this this actor, Ian Armitage, whatever his name is, who plays Young Sheldon. They realize this kid is capable of so much more than fucking Young Sheldoning. Like it's it's so easy to him. He, he has so many more talents. He's an expert singer. He can tap dance and do all these things. What if we just show in one episode that Young Sheldon himself is also capable of being just amazing at every single thing he pursues? But then by the end, he goes back to science. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he leaves everyone to <laughs> just drops out of the play right at the last moment. And <laughs> poor George Costanza has to play little orphan Annie. And it's beautiful. Yeah. I, like he says that people didn't like it, but I don't know. I thought I thought they must have liked it at that point. It seemed pretty good. They sat well, through the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. Like we see the audience yeah. again. Nobody has left. It would have been funnier if it was just like Mima and uh, Missy left, and everybody else went home. <laughs> well, I guess they are the parents of the kids. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Guess. All the all the other families <laughs> have to stick around no matter what the, what's going on there. At, at the very end of the play, it was just uh, Costanza alone on stage. So maybe by then they could drift out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Them being the parents would make it funnier if they left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's so bad they won't even stay for their kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Wow. They, they still have to pick up the kids, but they'll, they'll go outside briefly. <laughs> so how did sure. Sheldon get disillusioned with the school system and science? Well, there's a, a science fair, and he comes up with a genius way to pre uh, prevent asteroids and meteors from destroying the Earth. But some girl had an electro ball, and when she touched it, the static electricity made her hair stick up. So she won. And Sheldon starts screeching out to everybody, Oh, you people are crazy! You're celebrating mediocrity! This is a, a travesty of scientific race! And he's screaming at them, and they're dragging him out. And the, the Sheldon we know has changed for the rest of the episode. Yeah, it I found him very relatable here. That's sort of where my mind goes. I just, I just, whenever I see someone mediocre getting a win, it's just, it's so <laughs> fucking sad. It's so horrible to have to watch. I think it's, it's constantly enraged when people are having constantly. A good life. Yes. <laughs> well, I, I think it comes down to and and this gets evaluated later when Sheldon learns what musicals are. But I think it's autism and inability to understand social interactions and cues might be responsible here. Because you have to know your audience. And for a junior high or high school science fair, it's more about spectacle than actual data. And if you're, if you are presenting information that is too intelligent for the judges to actually comprehend, they can't in good faith grant you the win. Because for all they know, it's uh, gobbledygook. So they have to go with just the, the, the physical elements of oh your hair is sticking up that shows static shock am i am i wrong here that is, i think you're right actually that is true because she she like gets to demonstrate her, her thing with a little like cool cool show every single time well, too you are wrong about one thing you say he has autism but the writers are very open about the fact that apparently he doesn't well, that's their way to not have Autism Speaks attempt to uh, murder them like they do to actual <laughs> autistic children. And, and later on, Sheldon's watching a musical and he's like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, he'll watch sci-fi and Star Trek with aliens and, and traveling at the speed of light. He'll watch that all day, no problem. He watches a musical and the, the reality of it does not make any sense. How do they all know this song? How are they doing the same dance? Where is the instrumental music even coming from? And that's also a trait of autism. So if they say he's not, but all the signs are there. Well, I guess he's just got the same symptoms as autism, but uh, I guess there's so much more to him. How bizarre. 
truly. Are you guys big fans of musicals? Um, oh, I've yeah. only seen one in my entire life. Paint wow. Your Wagon? I, I heard that musicals. one sucked. <laughs> no, no. That one does suck. Yeah. Does it suck? But Did you guys ever review that on anti-reviews? I don't remember. No, we probably should, though. That would be pretty good. That's the yeah, next episode. <laughs> musicals are, are great, okay? They're, uh, they're, just, they're just fantastic, and they've been there with us since the very start of film. Well, since they got sound, at least, I guess. But it's... Uh, <laughs> Yeah. It's wonderful. You see, it's just a joyful thing usually to watch a good musical. So here's when yeah. the episode kicks into high kino. Sheldon gets in trouble because he, he has a, a new attitude at school. He's got his legs crossed up on the desk and is, you know, is leaning back. Oh, fuck you, teacher. I don't give a shit. Fuck this school. They send him to the office, the principal, because he's in trouble. One of the first times ever sent for this, right? Mm-hmm. But uh-oh. They make a mistake. They leave him alone with the intercom and he locks the principal and the receptionist in the principal's office, takes over the intercom and starts giving a big speech. Wake up, people. The system's broken. Real innovation isn't valued at this school. I'm urging you all to rise up. They can't send us all to the principal's office. And like, is that not the most Kino seen in all of young Sheldon so far? Yeah. Yeah. uh... (laughs) And as, as he's, he's become, doing this, the principal's trying to break back into his own uh, his own reception area through the window and stuff. It's great. <laughs> it's it's like I'm watching Bart Simpson. It's bizarre. Like, wow. <laughs> I'm pretty oh, wow. sure this is straight from Malcolm in the Middle, but oh, the, a lot of this show from? is because it's the same premise of child genius in a poor family that doesn't understand him, but uh, still, it's Keno. If you're going to steal, steal from the best. You know, yeah, I mean, it's interesting because Sheldon just always thinks like, oh, yeah, these kids are going to agree with me that he should have won the science. And he's he's so full of himself. He thinks like that would be the catalyst for everyone to, to write. Yeah, his revolution was a failure. <laughs> oh, too bad. Right after his, his religion of mathology was a, a failure and, mm, and now he's true. trying it with the revolution. <laughs> yeah, the fat chicken boy was not a big enough clergy for him. <laughs> Damn, he, he really tried. <laughs> That's the only thing that would have made this episode uh, better in my mind, is if we got the chicken boy in there. He could have been at the play. <laughs> he could have had a role. He could have done Annie. Yeah, they have should have sent him out oh with, my like, God. The, with the script. Yeah. <laughs> and he, and he just he gets he nails every single line. He's like a, <laughs> a perfect performer. That would have been great. I really get into it just out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sheldon yeah, announces he's quitting science and Mima is not too worried about it because she says, hey, I've quit smoking and gambling plenty of times. And I, I thought that was one of the truer statements ever put to film in this series. Yeah, I'm surprised that the kids are, uh, that the, the adults are annoyed with him quitting science because like, like, he's done other things before and he was amazing at them. So why, why do they even think that the science stuff is such a good idea for him? Like, he could be making... Yeah, they should be relieved. Difference. Like, he won't be annoying anymore. And Missy even says how he wants to be an actor now. Maybe he can learn to act normal. And I thought that was pretty good. Yeah. Maybe he could learn that. Yeah. It, it is something you have to learn. Mm-hmm. And then Mima goes on a uh, tangent about how she was always undressing in theater. And uh, people were always seeing her naked. That was weird. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We should have gotten a flashback there, I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Where she's just mm-hmm. amazingly hot. And Who would play t- mid 20s Mima? Same actor. Oh, That's what my I want to see. Oh, God. She's <laughs> <laughs> just full CGI. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, Heartsy, I'm leaving you in charge of the podcast while I go pee. Oh, boy. So keep these boys on their best behavior. Oh, okay, so let's talk next? more about uh, let's talk about uh, Momo uh, undressing and being naked. Let's talk more about that. That sounds good. I'd love to see them fucking see them saggy tits. Exactly. Wow. Because she's old. When they do with <laughs> other people, but this time about Mima instead of Sheldon, who do you think will play Mima when they do the prequel? Uh, I think Angelina be- Jolie. Oh, oh, holy okay. shit! She's also like sixty or something, though. Right? right no. <laughs> Or will be by then. 
I was Wait. thinking uh, Mary's actor would just play a uh, younger Mima because you know, <laughs> we get, you that know the, the daughter of the mother in uh, Big Bang Theory plays the mother in Young Sheldon. So it's just that again, but with uh, Mima. Wow, yeah. I know she shows up in Big Bang Theory and she doesn't even look like the same person. So really they could just get anyone. Right, exactly. I mean, it'd be amazing to see the same actress, but this time she's going wild instead of being religious. That's like a bigger premise, I guess. Yeah. Right. Man, that's like the biggest, uh, that's the biggest uh, immersion breaking thing. Mima looking so different in Big Bang Theory. She's just a fat old lady. Yeah. it's. Uh, I haven't seen the episode yet, but I have seen just in the pictures, and it, it really is jarring because she's not... Like, it's not even close. Not even Not slightly. even close. It's no. so far. It's like the furthest possible person you could have gotten for no right. reason. I think um, Mima died in between shows, and uh, the one that we've seen, The Big Bang Theory, is actually an uh, imposter. I think that's... that's, you know, that's she's possible. an alien. <laughs> yeah, she's sent out by the, the lone shark, whoever played that guy. Exactly. Some she's, celebrity cameo. <laughs> she's an alien sent to Earth to study Sheldon. That could be. That would be a fuck. I keep waiting for the sci-fi twist, for the time travel, for the aliens, for any of this, and it's not. It's not happening, and it's really disappointing. Uh, keep watching. It'll happen eventually. I've seen the entire okay. show. It does happen. Okay, that's good. That's well, good. The, the aliens just watch Sheldon all this time because they know that that humanity is finally ready to to ascend to the Federation once. Well, the- don't <laughs> fucking <laughs> spoil Sheldon. it, Florian. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's, that that's... sounds very much like the plot of Star Trek. That's very coincidental that the, the whole lore of young Sheldon works out to be the same thing. Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh, you had to uh, get that spoiled to you. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I need the substitute teacher to give me a class report. Were they being good? Yeah, they are being very good. Except for Florian, who just spoiled a big plot twist in, the, uh, in young Sheldon. <laughs> oh, for, uh, Florian, y- you have detention. Yeah, damn. I'm just. I'm, I'm gonna stay the whole longer. Life, it's all ruined. Your, your <laughs> detention is gonna Why be just like on? the Breakfast Club that we're gonna review very soon for the PCP Podcasters Choice Poll. Very popular change to the PCP, according to the comments on the. Uh, Why well, I, I get it was posted early for members of the channel, and so far everybody's like, "Yeah, it's a good thing you're taking the power away from the people and choosing the movies yourself." Wow, uh, that they're, they're so mature about it. it does sound rebel at all? That's yeah. cool. Like I think fucking... maybe we'll change it next month to the patrons' choice poll and just <laughs> let the people who give me money vote. Wow, well, big money. That'd be a good idea. Work now. The problem is you all started fucking like out out shit. You had to try to like make the shittiest movie like. No, win and stuff. we put you three great win. movies up, and Florian picked a fake movie. Well, it, exactly. It doesn't work <laughs> if you if even one person breaks the chain and chooses something like. Dog yeah, shit, then no it all shit. Fails. Hey, you enjoyed that one, okay? It was so a good choice. Spoiler Enjoy alert! Orange spoiler alert! Well, I get. I guess it was already out, right? Is it's, I, I haven't seen it. And it's I not out for the public yet as of uh, the release of this podcast, but, you know, uh, if they want to hear it early, they got to cough up that cold, hard green, baby. So true. So I'm true. Waiting. Did we say that uh, Sheldon goes to therapy and the right on guy makes a return? Well, yeah, we didn't Sheldon mention is, that, but it does happen. And Sheldon's it, an asshole at first, but then he... We get his backstory. Yeah, he wanted to be a figure skater, but then he got his big toe cut off and gave up on that dream, and that convinces Sheldon to give up on the dream of science. And try to be an actor. Go, he can't go without that big toe. He's a very good therapist, I think. That's that's exactly what you want your, your patients getting out of your stories and stuff. <laughs> Just give up on your dreams. Well... Or find a new dream. I mean, when you're eight years old, you sh- probably should evaluate more than one option. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know. There's a science. And Sheldon of the was extremely things, talented though. at singing and dancing. He just had stage fright, which can be overcome. I mean, what eight year old would not fucking freeze up when on on a stage in a spotlight in front of people? That is huh. true. I think that is uh, Sheldon's greatest flaw as a character is he takes the path of least resistance quite often. Yeah, doesn't he do a, a bullshit science anyway? Like, theoretical bullshit that doesn't actually help anything? He does fucking string yes. theory, yeah. It's not even yeah. anything... 
he always chooses the path of doing like something easier for him. like what comes easy to him and does not benefit anybody else. Wow, Purple, I thought you were so on board with his theoretical physics. I thought him getting a Nobel Prize meant that he was definitely helping mankind. I, I don't think I've ever said this, okay? I don't know what you're trying to imply here. <laughs> if he went on to become a famous actor, young Sheldon could support the world through his his acting and his plays and movies way more than he's doing as a scientist. Am I wrong? I, that's true. Yeah. Just like Jim Parsons in real life, he could bring joy to millions and uh, become like a billionaire off of these shows. So really, it's um, because George Costanza wanted him to dress in drag and play Little Orphan Annie that ruined young Sheldon's whole future. If he was just going to play like a normal role, maybe he would not have been afraid and his dad wouldn't have got it in his head. Oh, they're going to make fun of you, son. Don't put on the dress. No transgenders allowed in Texas, son. I don't think he was afraid of the role. He was afraid of the audience. Because they were going to make fun of him for dressing like a girl because his dad gave him that big speech. I'm just saying if they gave him a normal male role, maybe things would have gone way differently. Yeah, if, if he had started with baby steps, maybe. But, I mean, he is just too too easy to give up, so that's definitely on him. I think giving him the role of Little Orphan Annie was setting him up for failure. Like, George Sr. was correct. They would have made fun of him. I mean, I, I don't think so, because they're already having all the reason to make fun of him that they want, you know? I, yeah, I, they, we, I, we went over this before. Like, they, they have not been, like, unkind to this small child. You were saying they're not going to start bullying this, this tiny child who happens to be in their I mean, high school. Yeah, but this episode opens with a full-grown adult playing a high schooler hitting young Sheldon with a dodgeball at full velocity. So it's only going <laughs> to get... The, it will only get worse game. if he wears the dress. Maybe. 100%. It's in this episode. I mean, it is East Texas in the 80s, so... Yeah. 90s. Late 80s, I believe. I Late think 80s. the the other school children, they're portrayed inconsistently, okay? I don't believe by this episode that they would be willing to shame him and ruin his life over this. I just think young Sheldon, he should have pursued acting, and this, uh, this fucked him for life. But that's I mean, fine. I... I, I think true. this. Is, I, I don't think that makes sense. I mean, I if if the kids were to make fun of him, then it would be the plot of one episode, and then he would do something to to, to make them all stop, and it'd be fine. There's no way that he was forever going to be ostracized because of this. Okay, it, but it it's worked. why he had the stage fright and gave up before he even attempted to be an actor. Well, I, I just mean, remember there's an episode in The Big Bang Theory where Sheldon also gets into acting. They do the same like. Oh my uh, god. <laughs> uh, kind of plot in the Big Bang Theory. You're telling me these sitcoms with like seven seasons, they start recycling plots? No, it's called consistent characterization, you fucking retard. <laughs> no, absolutely fucking not. That's, that sounds lame as fuck. <laughs> we already know he's an actor from this show. It Which season does he get into much. acting in Big Bang Theory? Uh, okay, it was just one episode, and I don't know what season it was, but there was an episode where... Uh, where um, Sheldon wants to be able to entertain his uh, audience that he's lecturing, right? So he gets Penny to help him uh, in acting classes. So he gets into acting, does acting classes, so he can better um, better uh, lecture to and his And he says to uh, Penny, class. you know, Penny, this reminds me of when I was eight and I was cast as the lead of Annie in the Annie musical. And after <laughs> yeah, only exactly three that. weeks of rehearsals, all of these <laughs> children memorized all of their fucking lines and songs and dances, even though when Monkey Jones was in high school, they spent at least two months on it because it's fucking children and not professional actors but I digress anyway my name is young Sheldon who is now old Sheldon and this also reminds me of when I was a great tap dancer I was a beautiful singer and I could do the splits when I was eight but now I need to learn about acting again in my adult time (laughs) is that what he said yeah he says that exactly and then like the Chuck Lorre card was like just wait that speech is gonna pay off on my next show (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> That'll be great. I and mean, his next show was Two Broke Girls. <laughs> oh, God. That's one of the original Monkey's anime reviews. That's old school. Wow. Oh, my God. Better times. With that one. I don't know. Do we think this episode is pro or anti uh, gender bending Annie here? <laughs> So I'm not sure what the what the moral is or what we're supposed to take away from it. I'm not sure if it's like a like a good thing that Sheldon dropped out or or what? I think he was a coward. Yeah. 
That's oh. that's what I'd say, yeah, but I'm not sure what the show like intends for us to get well, from it. Sometimes bad morals can lead you on the right path. I mean, like, if, to me, this is just another stupid episode where we see a glimpse of something great, but then they remember that they're in a sitcom, so they have to revert to the statu- status quo instead of giving us an interesting payoff. So uh, what about what when see. they destroy Mima's house with a tornado, huh? <clears throat> that permanently I, affects the show. I, I don't know. I haven't seen that <laughs> yet. <sick>. What? <laughs> oh, I've, you haven't seen this whole show? No. <laughs> Who's doing spoilers for young Sheldon now? Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. I need I need to fucking just cover my ears and shit. It's oh not my good. god! I need to still being on so the show. Sorry. I promise so you, sorry. we will not make it that far to when they destroy Mima's house. We if we're doing this once per month, we will be dead of old age by the time we get there. That's exactly. only like that's only like twenty five years. Okay. My hope is that we we make it to one episode of Georgie and Mandy. That's like how how far I think we're gonna make it. And that comes <laughs> out in two months. Well, well, honestly, I thought we'd be done at like like five or six. So yeah, anything's possible. Well, thank God I came and saved the show after Florian <laughs> tried to end it. Yeah. Exactly. That's yeah, the well, real lore. Yeah, I'm sure we'll totally yeah. get to that one episode that you want to. Yep. Yep. So that's the end of it. Uh, great episode of Young Sheldon. All four of us agree. Young Sheldon was better this week. I yes. think so, absolutely, yeah. I will agree with that, yeah. Wow. I lost track of the count. I, I'm ashamed to admit it, but I lost track of the tally. I only have 14 episodes listed for the oh tally. Oh, God. You have seven and seven. But episodes. Yeah, I have to fucking go back and update <laughs> my tally and figure out which one I missed. Yep. <laughs> Let's just say Young Sheldon's winning. Yeah. I, 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 I think didn't, it would be, didn't probably. JJ break the tie last episode? Well, I think I guess so. there's no tie yeah, to did. break. Yeah, but like whatever he picked is probably the point that's missing. That's that's very possible. I'm not sure. I, I'm not even I'm hoping sure someone what in the picked, comments is also. Should I call him so I and ask it. him what he picked? Sure. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'll call him. Okay. Up. Let's figure this out. <laughs> he won't be able to hear you guys, but we'll be able to hear him. That's fine. Yep. Never can be your appearance from JJ. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, JJ just... is my favorite guest on the show, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm finally calling. Member. Yeah, totally. Okay, it's ringing. Yo, JJ! Hey, what it do, man? How you, how you is? Hey, JJ, we're we're doing our Bazinga Boys podcast, and we, we lost track of the tally of which show is winning, and we can't remember what show. When you broke the tie last episode, which show did you pick over Young Sheldon and Big Bang Theory? Man, that was a long totally time knows. ago, man. Uh, yeah, that was like forty blunts ago for you. So I know you probably don't remember. If you could just like guess what you picked, we'll just go with that. Man, I'm gonna say a big bang there, cause uh, man, Shawty with the glasses. Ooh, man, man, I thought I seen a girl just like that that they made me think about that show. Man, I ain't seen that show in a long time. Man, probably the last time I done seen it was probably when I was talking about it. But. Mhm. Well, hey, thanks for letting us know. We're gonna get back to it. Yeah, boom! How I spoke. The, okay, the girl so. with the glasses. There's two of them. There's two girls with glasses. So I, I guess uh, if Big Bang Theory got the point last time and Young Sheldon gets it this time, is that another tie? That is a tie. We're eight and eight. Damn. Wow. wow. Forever tied. Yeah. We got to keep it going until there's a clear lead, I think. That can be the end of the show. How long will it take Georgie Bro. and Mandy to, to catch up in points? They'd have to win, like, oh. what, 20 in a row? <laughs> there's, like, five that would have more to be seasons. A, a damn good show. <laughs> <laughs> and we know it will not be. And he's have twenty, like the first twenty episodes need to be perfect. Five out of five episodes. Yeah. There's like five more seasons of Big Bang Theory than there are Young Sheldon. So by default, it's gonna win at the end. Mm, That's true, no, yeah. no. We'll just start rewatching so. Young Sheldon. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you can just <laughs> back around, I guess. <laughs> and when we run out, like when season one of Georgie and Mandy ends, and there's no season two yet, we'll just rewatch season one. Yeah, oh, we'll just, yeah. just keep every month we need to have something out. <laughs> yeah. This is gonna this is my hell. Oh good. <laughs> I don't like TV at all. <laughs> just these three shows, one of which has not existed yet. 
I'm I'm liking them less and less every week. I got to be honest. Wow. And, but you're so into movies now, but you hate TV. That's crazy. I love movies. They're wonderful. Have you yeah, watched uh, the Sandy Cheeks movie Saving Bikini Bottom? No. I now that's don't. a film. I should have. That leaked like months ago. I'm surprised to see it. Like, I guess it has to come back around when they release it for real. But it leaked. I should have watched it. It was then. pretty good. Yeah, right. You rated it's, it one star. I think you should watch it. It has a 1.6 rating. That's really bad for Letterboxd. <laughs> <Jesus Christ. laughs> wow, That's... Purple is refusing to be on Is It Kino? Rip. No, I think I'll that should be it. an anti-reviews podcast. I want to hear you guys talk about it. <laughs> oh, you're oh, not going to join? <laughs> I would come get, on that because I have very strong opinions. Yeah, about, get Heartsy uh, in there. Movie. That'd be pretty good, actually. Yeah, we could do that. Heartsy, what right is your strongest opinion <laughs> about the Sandy Cheeks movie? Share it now. Uh, that it's abysmal and kills everything that I love about this franchise of Spongebob Squarepants. I feel like Spongebob, he's, he's like the sidekick to Sandy, but he has equal screen time, so it's not actually a Sandy movie, it's just a Spongebob movie yeah, that they put exactly. a fucking different title on. But Spongebob is not really acting like himself, it's more like he's a, no. a Roger Rabbit sidekick, like he's doing just generic cartoon gags the whole time to try to be well, funny. <laughs> The entirety of Spongebob is just a generic cartoony slop fashion now. There's no there's no wit. All the wit and charm that the early seasons once had are completely gone. Oh well, yeah, and it's like slop. it wasn't even Spongebob-esque jokes. Like he's not like no. pulling out his jellyfish net. He's like doing literally like cartoon jokes from like the rubber hose era. <laughs> like what the fuck? It's not Spongebob. It's garbage and I hate it and I hate anyone who likes it. Yeah, <laughs> it was painful to watch. And it, again, it's not even a Sandy Cheeks movie. It's just a complete lie. Exactly. I guess we, we get to meet her Texan family and, and uh, Johnny Knoxville is the voice of her brother or her dad or one of them. And that was kind of Kino, but otherwise complete dog shit. Slot fest. Through and through. Hearts, so do you watch all the, the, the Spongebob movies? I've watched the, yeah, I've watched them all. There's three of them. Well, four of them now. I, I noticed like another one with this art style. Was that better? Sponge Out it's, of Water is that the one? No, there's a third SpongeBob movie called um called uh, I actually forgot what it's called, but um it's actually it, it's better writing wise, but that's not saying much. But is that like the superhero animation. one? Uh, the superhero the one is one. the second one, oh. and the like He's the first one is good. On the run. That's the third. On one. the run. Right. Yes, Sponge wow. on the Run. The first one is a masterpiece. The second one is kind of good. The third one's not very good, but it has really good animation. And the fourth one is bad all the way through. So literally, they get worse as they go. Yes. All the way through. Yes. Uh, I'm glad I skipped from one to four. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one of these shows that's gone on like 15 years longer than it should have. It's really it's not in a good state anymore. Have, have you seen yeah, the episodes that they make these days? I think the show got better when Steven Hillenburg died. I think he was dragging it down. Like, his humor was kind of shitty. Like, as soon as he fucking died, and, like, he deserved to die, of course, I think the show wow. really improved in quality. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. I love the shitty spinoffs that make no sense. And oh my, yeah, Camp, Camp Krusty or whatever the fuck, Camp SpongeBob. <laughs> and and the Patrick the Cap, Patrick Star show. Oh my, that that's my sense yeah. of humor. I fucking oh, bust yeah. a gut. Sides are in <laughs> orbit, dude. I can't even see them anymore. Up with the satellites, I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> Hopefully the Sandy show will get a, a spin-off of its own, a whole show. <laughs> yeah, and, Sandy. Then, and then we're going to get the Patrick Star show, the movie. Yeah. Oh my god. I'm not going to lie, first time I jerked off was when Sandy was wearing her little bikini in, on Spongebob. So I'll watch yeah. a whole sp a Sandy bikini adventure movie and TV show. I'll, oh my god, I'll be gooning for days. <laughs> when was this? <laughs> well, in, in Spongebob, when Sandy's inside her little dome, she's wearing fucking big round titties. Yeah, you know, yeah. she's no, wearing a bikini. This, is this like the original one, or is yeah. it, are you talking about in this movie? No, no, original no, in Sandy in her yeah. little bikini. They make her titties big and round, and you know, I, I went wow. to town on myself over and over again for decades watching that. Decades. <laughs> they're pretty small. <laughs> they're they're like Florian like approved size. They just draw them <laughs> as circles. It's like wow. And in this new movie, she's in her <laughs> bikini completely flat. No, I thought it was nothing. flat in the show. No, it's not. No. What? They uh, took Sandy's tits not. away in the new one. That's why oh me and Hearty did not like it. 
I couldn't sponge goon to it, so... Yeah. Uh, and when you sponge goon, you could treat yourself like a sponge to absorb all the semen. You fill it back up, and that's how you go for yeah. another round right you, after. You clean up oh, what, yeah. whatever you came on with your own body parts. I mean, you gotta recycle <laughs> it. Yeah, cat's gotta lick something off of you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> no. That's fucking hey, foul. We're, we're 55 minutes into Bazinga Boys. Nobody's listening. You can say anything. Only the truest, <laughs> realist fans are still here, and they'll keep uh, your secrets. I have one thing to say. Hispanics for Harris, all the way. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Canadians for Harris, all the way. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what about Austrians for Harris? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that oh, means wait, Trump I, will certainly I, prevail. Oh no, I can't vote in the US. Who could have seen this coming? <laughs> Some would say you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just immediately That's well, how I'll wait, do it. If he commits suicide, suddenly he'll have a write in ballot. <laughs> yeah, he'll have a write in. <laughs> he'll show up in there. Uh, is that if it for Bazinga Boys? Suicide, the best place to come is Canada. Did you guys do plugs yet, or are you still plugging shit? Um, you can find me on Twitter at HardSuperHardSea. Well, check out anti-reviews. Eventually, there's going to be a Godfather review, so that's going to be good, right? Yeah. And sure. I'm Purple Colonel on YouTube. I got uh, movie reviews coming out someday in the next month, hopefully. And yeah. Uh, check out uh, me and Aggie's short film called I Was the Dancing Baby, available right now for members of the channel, and we'll be on the Simeon Jimmy channel next week. Oh. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. -bye.